Welcome back again to another Pigeon Poop TV video. So you are joining me on episode 3 of our Golden Dawn Greek Nationalist playthrough. Um, from memory we... oh yep, yeah, we're just in the positive in our economic uh, budget situation we are doing Chinese real estate investment and then we're planning on nationwide nationwide Chinese investments to get some more office sectors and civilian industry uh, in preparation for a great war in the future our civilian factory production is getting quite good and we are producing more as time goes on. Political power is not too bad. And we are almost... I think I was saving... What was the tech that we were doing? Okay, we want to maintain our construction speed. Okay, just getting an idea of where we have left off. Okay, I might in increase taxation. Okay, so we've got a billion. Bulgaria is still asking for a non-aggression pact, as I imagine they are feeling quite vulnerable. So we got hills. Investment offer from France, excellent. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. So we are accepting all these investment opportunities from a variety of different countries. Most recently France by the looks of it. We shall permanently suspend elections. And therefore become the ruling party. And hopefully that gives us a new flag and I did check the settings um, so I don't know if there's more to the mod that I haven't yet got or if simply it is because I need to suspend elections so we'll see what we come across in a moment when I've got enough political power our efficiency can go up slightly so we might as well utilize that Wow, lots of investment offers. Two infrastructure, three civilian industry from French investment. Okay, we're coming close to suspending elections. Very, very close. This will actually ensure that we uh, remain in power. Italian has remained non aligned. And let's permanently suspend elections. Okay. Now, to wait and see if that gives us the ability to change our flag. So far, it doesn't appear that way. So, maybe I'm missing something. Ah, change flag! Woo, baby! Yeah! Fuck yeah! That's what we want. <laughs> okay. That's so much better. Oh. Hallelujah. 
Excelente. Excelente, excelente. Shift in politics. Our recent shift in some less than democratic politics has caused NATO to abandon us. We no longer meet their silly requirements about so-called democracy. We reject this notion and we are better off without NATO. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so what's that going to do to our budget? Let's have a look. Okay. Um, okay. So far, so good. Budget's not terrible. Uh, we've still got the investment from France, which is good. Okay. Well, so far, so good. Now I'm no longer a NATO member. Oh, yes. Okay, so. We now no longer have the ramifications for our actions if we de if we decide to uh, go on the offensive. Winter specialist, special forces expert. We can get more. That's naval. Da -da -da. Wow, the Greeks have really, really decent uh, guys. Generals. Let's go paratroopers. I feel like I'm more likely to use paratroopers than uh, any sort of offensive baby. Let's go. No, we want organization. Lovely, lovely. Give me more investment. Heck yeah. Okay. You better start feeling the pressure, Bulgaria. Thank you, France. Two to four. Okay. If I did that, I get hills and forest. So I get another one. Should I annex Macedonia first or go straight for Bulgaria? Which now has three military and th three civilian factories. And will give me water access to the Black Sea. Mm, questions, questions. Although, I don't think my treasury is yet sufficient enough. For these sorts of uh, military actions that I am planning on undertaking. So, we should possibly... What sort of equipment do we have? You know what? We've got quite a decent amount of equipment. At least we should be fine if we did decide to go on the offensive with Bulgaria. The only thing that sort of concerns me is, can our air power match theirs? Start off. Oh yeah, yeah baby. Oh yeah, that's what we want. Let's start paying our debt back. Okay, let's, all right, that's the plan. We'll pay the debt back first, because we definitely, we're likely going to have a negative balance when we declare war. Uh, I don't want to be burdened by... Ooh. Ah, that's right. We can strike Bulgaria via the annex of these goals. Game base, war support. So we definitely will need more war support. Um, but I think the other... Can I... Okay, so I can do foreign relations. Give myself more political power. 
perhaps align with Russia mm. I'll need to fight so these these shouldn't be until later fighting against NATO and fighting against Turkey shouldn't be until later so perhaps let's focus on the military focuses now Okay, let's centralize our administration, so that will drop us down a little bit, not too bad though, but it will improve our political power, which is good. Corruption's pretty good, not too concerned about our corruption. Okay, very good. Our domestic influence is 40%. Let's combat foreign influence, but I don't really want to... Uh, we can probably spend that better by attacking directly. Except... Okay, Greece has secret nuclear, nuclear program and at least one nuclear warhead constructed and in its inventory. So... We are going to require... Mm, no. Okay. Secret nuclear program, we need at least one nuclear reactor. So in order to do that... Bye bye. Bye bye. Where we need a nuclear reactor, which requires the technology. So the technology, we got to go over. Ah, uh, yes. Um, uh, that one. We need that one. So that'll be oh, okay. That's not too bad. I reckon we should actually gradually. Uh, no, we do need military equipment. It's two thousand and six, but we do. We will need nuclear weapons at some point to guarantee our statehood. But for the time being, let's just uh, not focus so much on that. Okay. I reckon we'll get our infantry da da da. Infantry company developed. We want to go army first, ground forces first. Mm, where are we up to? Oh, very close to getting another laboratory. Bugger off. Uh, what do we got? 2.1. Let's increase a little bit more. So we won't see too much there. Just keep paying that debt off, baby. Okay, we don't want to delay attacking Bulgaria for too long, as we don't want their military getting better. Macedonia might actually be worthwhile to try to acquire at some point. So let's let's spread our influence in Macedonia. Do, 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 do. Oh, we're so freaking close. Okay. If you're wondering, yes, I may be a little sick. I don't know. I've got a bit of a runny nose at the moment. Um, a bit sniffly. But I don't usually get sick. Um, it's not something that usually happens too much. Not too concerned. Not too concerned at all. Okay, do we want vertical integration? Mechanized armor, division organization, or we can focus on support companies. Let's go to support companies for now. Mm, okay. Let's get a better equipment. How... Am I still 
a European... Oh, okay. So I'm not in NATO, but I'm a European Union member still. Well, that's fair enough. Expand laboratories. Excellente. I can't wait to get out of the EU. Unless I can either get out of it or just overtake it in some form. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Become a NATO aspirant country. I don't want to be rest Western Outlook. Okay, yeah, yeah, baby. All right. I, I want to. I want to start having some fun. So I know soon, soon, guys, very, very soon. I'm going to want to do some military activities. No. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh. Now what we do need, we need our divisions to start training. And the reason for that is because we need to get more army experience. Keep paying our debt off, get more arm experience, keep paying our debt off, get more arm experience, keep paying our debt off, keep building, oh, excuse me, keep building civilian uh, infrastructure, military factories. Missing equipment! What are you talking about? Maintain garrisons, we want upgrades. For now, no. Don't want to adopt any EU laws. I don't even know what the frickin' law is. No one, no one tells me anything. They just go off in their own little, little thing and don't talk to me. Talk to anything. They don't tell me anything about it. Um, was that a big jump? Another. Ooh, yeah, kind of could be good actually. Yeah, that'd be nice. We do need more political power, um, because I need to fill these out, I need to... Ooh, mandatory service. I didn't even know Greece, unless that was just something part of the Golden Dawn faction, but, you know, that's okay. Mandatory service is always good. Um, oops, we got literally nothing for air power. Our artillery is outdated as hell. Bulgaria. So five fifth okay, so they're they're developing divisions. They know something's coming, surely. They know that something is coming. Okay, so that's one to nine militia. So Bulgaria may just primarily have militia base units. Which if that's the case, then I'm not terribly concerned about it, because... What, what is the bulk of our army? What are these? I don't know how to say that, but that. That's what it is. Um, that's that one. So it's a tank battalion, mechanized infantry, mechanized infantry, and self-repelled artillery against m militia. So I think we're, we're going to be okay. And we'll advance our weapons as quickly as possible. Recruitment drives. What happened there? No, this can't be bad. Let's do some trade. That's all good. South Sudan has capitulated. I don't know. Am I supposed to care about that? I don't know. No. Our, influ our influence is increasing, which is lovely. I love to see it. I love to see it. Bad idea. Let's go Hellenic Aerospace Industry, which is weird because that's for your armoured vehicles. So we've, so we've got the Hellenic Aerospace Industry for our tank production, and then for the Air Force we've got just a generic airfield aircraft company. That makes sense. And the same for the... Oh, everything else is just generic. Okay. Very strange indeed. Excellent. Um, we can do digital camouflage. Because we do want to provide better coverage against enemy aircraft. 
Da -da 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 -da. Low flare. Ah, fantastico. Our production. Oh, I mean, shit's kicking off at the moment. What's going on here? Oh, okay, they're just training. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I thought something was kicking off there. How many have we got? We got the Tetharachis Mani. Oh, jeez. That's so difficult to pronounce. Sorry if I'm butchering that. So, two tank battalions, armored infantry, and self propelled artillery. Looks good. I mean, these, these things are very, very you know, basic divisions. Um, what's this? Marine, 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 Artillery, Tank Company for support. I mean, that, that could be, could be helpful. Oh, dear me. Okay, well, we should probably improve... Okay, so what is that? Uh, infantry focus. Wonderful news. Ah, do we have fast growth? Ooh, we're getting close. This is great. <laughs> ah, what I was looking at. Um, oh, that's no good. That is good. So we can produce tanks, but we are going to need to import... From, do we have any neighboring countries? Oh, fuck you, Turkey. Fuck you, literally all the people we're going to attack. So anyone in Europe, Russia. We've got the Black Sea there. So they're going to be reliable until we have an issue with Turkey. But we definitely will need that at some point. Um, I'm assuming all vehicles. Wait, what do we have for rubber? Rubber, we've got no rubber as well. So, look, this is going to be uh, a very difficult decision. As we don't really have the material required. Towed artillery is literally just steel, so that's pretty much what we can do. Steel, rubber is even something we can struggle with. Ah, what is that? Tech metals? No, light metals. we got light metals, so we can do recon tanks. We're probably going to just have to stick with recon tanks for now. Can we do gold? Can we do gold? Can we do gold? Oh, that's cool. It's, Pe it's Groypa or Pepe? I don't know. Definitely not. It's an ugly Pepe if it's Pepe, but it looks like Groypa. Um... Uh, God damn it. What are our divisions mainly doing? Um, tank battalion. Is that primarily going to be using... Oh. Um, shit, that's tough. Recon tank. My tanks, a main stay of World War II armies, are now only used in peripheral roles with a weight and size of main better that has been deployed. Light tanks are used by most heavily armored recce units and also have the advantage of being airdroppable and also often used in amphibious roles. They're often based on infantry, uh, infantry fighting vehicle hulls instead of being designed from the ground up. They're much, much better in bad terrain such as mountains and forests than main battle tanks. Now, a lot of our fighting is going to be in hills and freaking forests, I guess. So, maybe it's not so bad to have recon techs, recce techs. <laughs> Although, that's not really... Or I could just... Pr primarily focus... Nah, fuck it. I, just, I need... I want main battle tanks. I'm sorry. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm umming and ahhing there, but I'm just, I need main battle tanks. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have the inven, 
industry at some point. So I'm banking on it. I'm banking on the fact that we will have the industry at some point. Do we have um, enough stuff to produce attack choppers? Light materials. Ooh, as soon as we get to the 2005, we need rubber and gold as well. Gold, I'm pretty sure we're good. Light materials were good. So it'd just simply be rubber and um, whatever, the technology metals. Pretty sure. Oh no, it's tungsten. That's tungsten, isn't it? Oh, fuck. Um, no, what am I doing? It is technology metals. I'm thinking of the... Not the mod. Well. That should be good. Um, what next? We'll increase tax. Drop that down. We can almost... Drop down to number one on corruption. So we can either do that. Or we can continue to improve the state of the country. Increase our towed artillery. Um, increase funding for state defense institutes, grants, factory, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so support companies, self sufficiency, blah, blah, blah. Mech infantry, yeah, we want that sort of stuff. Alright. Oh, shit. What the fuck, Bulgaria? What the frig? How are they able... They've got six factories. I've got 32. Okay. We need to go into a protracted war with Bulgaria, baby. Okay. Drones. We need drones. Increase the arms. How many... Okay, and our industry is double theirs, uh, military industry is double theirs at the moment, so I'm hoping with enough time, energy, and resources, manpower's way better too. Um, what can I use in terms of air assets? So I've got attack, 20 attack helicopters, 15 transport for if I did want to do, um, if I did want to do power paratroopers. I've got 87 third gen multi-role fighters. Look, honestly, I probably have better air superiority than them, which is good. That's that's what we want. So, the beginning of the war, I'll just put my troops on the border. I'll use predominantly air warfare to destroy their aircraft as much as possible, while uh, maintaining a purely defensive stance and hopefully just get, like mowing down their, their manpower. I think that would be a good way to drag them into war. Because mm. otherwise, that's just going to keep going up. 11 to 16. 7 to 8. Okay. Um... Uh, we won't go full ham. Just three should be fine. Uh, infrastructure. Whoop. Infrastructure that we need to push all the way out there. Merge defense industries. How are we going for that? Um, probably not terribly important right now. Airbase expansion. Yeah, let's let's do all this stuff. That'd be good. 
drop down corruption, pay off some more debt. 131 to work with. Okay, let's push over to regional interventionalism. Okay. <laughs> ah, yes. How are we doing for time? 30 minutes. That's pretty good. Okay. No. So economic boom is going to be seven. That's an insane amount of political power. Why do we need such... So much political power just for something basic. Joint faction, tension limit. Um, generate war goals plus 35. Attention to um. Ah, <sighs> yeah, I could go near imperialism. Okay. We get increased stability and political power for a cost of an extra 300k. We can afford that, so let's do it. Health. Well, is it the same sort of thing? Increase the stability. Much better population gain. What's that? Uh -oh. oh, wait, that's education, what am I doing? Okay, another 200k. So we yeah, at 2.4, that's not too bad. And we're at 35% GDP, debt to GDP. So, we're getting there. We're getting there, getting there. Let's stick to towed artillery. I don't think we can afford to get too much mobile artillery. We can get better guns, though. Um, we can get better equipment. Um, let's get. I don't want to worsen the debt crises. And then after this, I guess we'll go foreign relations. Um, Yeah, no, we've got a great opinion, so I'm not going to waste money. Need all the money we can get. We will revive the Megali idea pretty soon, and then we will declare on Bulgaria, who seem to think they can bring up more and more troops into the field. Mm -mm -mm. So that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Possibly a good strategy is we'll go into a defensive war, destroy their air power, and then paratroop people behind enemy lines across there. I don't know if that'll work, <laughs> but let's give it a go. Um, so what are we producing? Six there, so we'll go two, two on each. Two there, two there, two there. And that hopefully should be enough to corner a few of them. Close integration of artillery, 100%. That's what we need. We will get more just standard divisions just chilling out just to provide defense. What does that leave us with in terms of equipment? Plenty of main battle tanks. So we'll, we'll go through that equipment. Uh, let's upgrade that. Uh, let's... 
some of this stuff going. China declared war on Mongolia. My goodness. Thank you. By the Megali idea. Um, we'll soon find out what we're lacking in terms of military production. That's old school anti aircraft. We got. What are we researching now? Is it. What is that? Is it. A, APC. It is an APC. So we want. Um, let's go. Leonidas APC. Leonidas Artillery. IFE. Oh, we got the IFE. Yeah, so we need APC. Ah, uh, god dang it. Mm, nonsense. I know that's usually not a good idea to do, uh, but right now I'm going to do it because I need to ensure that we are ready for a war. At police state. We are at 31.4% debt to GDP. We should possibly improve our trucks. Excellent. 10 to 16. So until we are fully ready... To create to go to war with Bulgaria I won't I won't put out my divisions just yet even if they are ready the airborne ones naturally will go to the airfield in uh, was it Liania uh, Lianina I don't know this region here Thessaly the paratroopers will be stationed in Thessaly and prepare for a an uh, aerial drop in these three regions here in western Bulgaria and eastern Bulgaria. Now the bulk of the military will go to the front line and then the remainder will fall to the back and act as defense. Well that's good that we managed to get Managed to get our Yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine for now. Excellent. Okay. Rifles were starting to improve. Bulgaria cannot uh, remain. I don't like the way they looked at me. And they must be destroyed. I feel like we're going to need some aircraft, actually. <laughs> um, freedom fighter. I like that. We are fighting for freedom. You know what? Let's just um, let's just ask permission to produce. What are we? I don't know what it's called. We'll ask. Maybe we can produce our own domestic choppers because I feel like we. will have the ability for that. Let's start our nuclear production. Artillery we can upgrade. Thank you. Alrighty. We're not ready yet. Okay. What's that? Eastern and then Western. South Dabruja. So we're literally going to annex these two regions here. Okay, I want to get my transport planes ready there. Uh, 
Let's go. Third gen, third gen. Can we fit all our interceptors there? Cool. Strike at them. Yes. Okay. We actually have barely any oil to use. And we're getting very close. Okay, let's do a quick update. 8 to 17 divisions, 5 factories, 5 civvies, 3 military, ours is 32 and 11. Our air force dwarfs theirs, and we've got... I mean, that's all convoys now, isn't it? But they don't have any naval-based uh, regions near us. But, just to be sure, we will go on a strike force in this region, and then we can patrol. Military can stop. In... Deploy. Damn, we only wanted one. They can be the paratroopers. Oops. Um, do we have one specifically for paratroopers? Or is that where this guy was? Is this guy the base guy? Oh, yeah, he's a paratrooper. Okay. So this one, he can be Mr. Paratrooper Man. And then this one here be primarily focusing on defense or invader da, da, da. good defense but i'm not too sure why <laughs> um, let's go with him move to that location as soon as possible because we've got eight days and you guys will get deployed here as sort of back defense away from the front line. And I'll give you guys... Yeah, sure, let's go. Let's roll with that. Okay, very good. So let's see how that changes Bulgaria. So they got four days and they don't have their troops prepared. Did I get that right? That's a paratrooper, isn't it? Um, no paratroopers in command group. What do you mean? I thought that was a paratrooper. Is that not paratrooper? Ah, oh, I'm retarded. They're special forces. Ah. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm a retard. Okay. Well, I'm going to need mm, six of them. Well, these guys are kind of useless here at this point. Um, they might as well link up with these guys. Uh, resolving the name dispute. 35 days. Well, that changes uh, things a little bit. Uh, 8 to 17. There's every possibility that they, they've got a much better army than I originally anticipated. But I think because they're ill-prepared at the moment... saying that, so am I currently?
Unit cannot enter pro- oh, right, I have to declare war, you idiot. Okay. Let's claim air superiority. Uh, that one there, boom, air superiority. Which one's my interceptor? We want our interceptors. Uh, we'll just we'll throw the attack helicopters in there. Actually, we won't just yet. Close air support. Uh, multi roll. I thought one of these were interceptors. Ah, uh, maybe they're them. I don't know. Air superiority fighters. Cool. All right. I'm ready. Let's let's give it a whirl. We're actually not in a deficit, which is good. Okay, uh, that's fine. That's fine. We don't want to have too little. I wonder if I should actually just push up while they're unprepared. Let's just rush in. Okay, they've sent their air force to us, which is dumb. But we've got total air control over Bulgaria currently. And we've already broken through the defenses. Keep that one. That guy occupied. This one, cut him off. So even if we primarily... Let's see what... 817. We still don't really have a great idea of what their capability is. The special forces are still making their way over. So let's actually turn it down. As to not overextend ourselves. Um, yeah, fire control system. Let's improve our artillery. Okay. This is going to be... A defensive war to begin with. So we cannot waste our manpower. So far I've killed 147 of them and zero of our guys have died. I need them occupied, them occupied, so I can push in here. I'm hoping that'll be sufficient enough. Push up, baby. Let's go. They've moved away from that. Ah, okay. But I need you guys to go up that way. Okay. Star military aid requests. Yeah, cool. I don't mind getting some some military aid. Okay, I've only lost seven guys, so at the moment we're looking pretty good. I've had no issues with the aircraft in this region. Okay.
we look like we are about to break through here. I don't mind if we're not doing too much gains there. Because the whole point is actually to try and break through. Cut them off here. Uh, maybe I can use these guys. claim their victory points actually. Uh -huh. We are making a breakthrough there. And then once we make it through there, let's push down and cut them off. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. They would be suffering heavy losses there. Okay, you can just chill out for a second. I'm going to lose that territory, but that's okay. Still got that one secured by this, this guy here. But they're going to be suffering heavy losses there. Oof, 7,000. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. In terms of victory points, we've still got a long way to go, but at least we've destroyed a fair few of their divisions. You know what? He should actually just push up to Sophia. Cut them off. Cut them off. Push straight up there. Oh, lovely. Love it, love it, love it. 128 loss. Okay, maintains fear. Push it that way. Okay, I've got total air superiority. How far left until we've got Macedonia? Macedonia is not far off. So we should be good with that. Worst case scenario, um, they don't have enough divisions to protect themselves. And they've got three military, uh, civilian factories? Great. So we can just simply grab these guys and push up. And that should be sufficient. Bulgaria should capitulate fairly soon. Let's just push up to Pleven. These, you, these units are preoccupied here, so I should be able to just cut right around. I should just stay there, focus on that attack. Can't overextend them. Too much. <laughs> These two there. System that one. Hundred and forty two casualties to thirteen thousand. Yeah. Should probably press play. Two days, come on baby, let's do this. Finish it off. got just under 10 days. Just about 10 days. Come back straight in. Finish them off. So three three whole divisions there. 
that will incur some heavy losses indeed. Okay. So now they've uh, foolishly moved up. I can push in and then up. So d this is just to distract them. Push up there. Excellent. Twenty K casualties. Oof, we gotta get 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 this done very quickly. Okay, we got five days. I don't really want to leave myself defenseless, but worst case scenario I can put these guys into a division. That is what we want, baby. Nice. Okay. Two days left. Alba Albania going. Three civilian factories, five to eight as well, and that's 70 days. I reckon we should go for Albania as well. We might as well. We, we've really not suffered, suffered heavily at all. Um, you know, we've got a, minute, a small amount of, you know, a small 399 casualties compared to their 23,000. I feel... Macedonia is going to be a little bit harder because we are going up against mountainous or hilly terrain. But fortunately, most of our units here are special forces, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. I'm hoping we can... Uh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Woo. Quickly get into place, please. Hurry, 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 hurry. Uh, do we still need superiority here. I mean, it helps, but do they have an air force? No, they don't even have an air force. Okay. Hmm, this is actually coming a little bit of stalemate. How many troops do they have? Five to eight. I'm just going to do a straight arrow, execute it carefully, and proceed. Okay. A little less careful than that, perhaps. <laughs> 